Hi, I'm Melissa Wilson. I'm a faculty member and extension specialist at the University of Minnesota. And I'm Chrissy Smoderman, manure management extension educator with the University of Minnesota. Manure is not just a waste. It's also a great nutrient source for our crops and pastures, but it needs to be managed properly in order to protect the environment. But there's more than one way to effectively manage your manure on your small farm, and not every management strategy would work for every operation. And so we're here today to present to you some different options for disposal and use of manure. And who better to tell you about manure management strategies than the farmers themselves? So we interviewed four different operators with different management techniques for their manure and asked them a series of questions about what they do and the pros and cons. But though we have a relationship through our extension and research programs with these operators, they are not endorsed by the University of Minnesota. Well, what we do, we clean stalls every evening before everybody comes in from being out here on the pasture or out in the dry lot. Manure goes into a wheelbarrow, a wheelbarrow comes out here and we just dump it here in front of the pile. And maybe once a week or so, kind of depends on how much manure we've had. Uh, I'll take the tractor and we'll load it back up onto the pile and, and stir the pile at the same time. It turns it into compost, which is a great benefit. I, every spring I spread it out on the pasture uh, so we, you know, to uh, give the grass some nutrition. And we use it for garden mulch. Uh, and uh, it uh, reduces the, the volume of the, of the manure, uh, probably by a third. It's, uh, it's a very inexpensive thing to do. You do have to have equipment to keep your, the compost pile turned over. I would hate to have to do this with a shovel, that's for sure. Other than that, there aren't any disadvantages that I can think of. You have to have the space, of course. I'll be conscientious about turning it over. Uh, yes. The manure pile itself is a compost that stays at a fairly high temperature. But it'll only do that if you keep it turned over and keep it aerated and give the bacteria some, some oxygen to live on. The horse manure is uh, stockpiled, as you see here. Um, wife and kids are mostly the horses. I'm the beef guy. Uh, the horse manure is piled up like this and uh, twice a year I uh, haul it out spring and fall. And the cattle manure is the same way, but that's done in a different pen where it's just kind of left alone and, and scraped up and hauled where the horse manure is picked on a daily basis and, and piled like this. And uh, from here, I've got some property that's about a third of a mile away. It's the closest one from this spot that's not hay where we can spread it right now. So it's just going on some corn that's been harvested. I'm a farmer, so we've got manure. I own the equipment, so it's easy for me to haul it all away and, and put it on my own ground. Well, when we stockpile like this, we, we kind of almost have to because there's certain months of the year crops are growing. There's nowhere to go for it other than just to move it into a field. We're here, we've got uh, boards on the back fence there to kind of contain it, give it a, keep the pile clean looking, and then we can haul it. Uh, this time of year, November, crops are off, and then again in the spring um, before crops go in, and then we've got several months of stockpiling before it has to be hauled. And the cattle manure is the same way. It's in the, uh, the paddocks or the dry lots for the cows. We just scrape it up and, and haul it away in the spring and the fall. Time and, and to, to get it hauled and um, but I've got the equipment, so it's, it's a little less expensive for me. It's more my time, but you have to own a skid loader and a manure spreader and a tractor and whatever to, to get it hauled out. One other thought kind of is uh, with the spring and fall hauling manure, it, it becomes a very competitive time of year because you're trying not to get stuck in the spring but get the manure out before the crop's got to go in or where we're located in central Minnesota, we're trying to get it hauled in the fall, get the crops off, but yet get it done before everything's frozen or buried in snow. So it's, there's kind of that window that's pretty small to try to get it done. You have to have the land or a place to go with it. Um, 
you know, if you've got five acres and it's uh, a pile like this and, and nowhere to go, then you uh, probably going to have to hire somebody, whether it's a person that hauls it commercially, dump trucks, neighbor farmers with spreaders that are willing to, to do it. But that comes back to that, the neighbor farmers, you want them to haul when they're combining their corn or planting their crops and it can get very tough. So it's, it's not, a, not a cheap thing. It's, it's gonna cost money to, to manage the manure. To try to get it contained into a nice stockpile. Um, if if uh, you have a lot of manure and, and a place to go with it, the skid loader, the tractor, the manure spreader, um, you need to invest in one that will fit your operation. You can probably get some small ones for a few thousand dollars, older used that would do a great job. If you've got mountains of manure, then it can become tens of thousands for equipment that can get it done efficiently. Well, we started out by trying to manage it by spreading it. And uh, we found out very quickly that we, we simply didn't have the square footage to effectively uh, rotate the horses, keep them happy, give them enough space to eat on. Uh, so we ended up uh, having it removed. And uh, some people, the first thing that comes to thought is, oh, that's got to be expensive. The reality is with five horses, we, uh, we have it removed twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. Uh, it's a half day job for the guy to come out here and move it. Um, the manure that's left in the fields, I end up uh, harrowing or cutting with a lawnmower sometimes just to spread it up so, so I don't get clumps of it around the pasture, but the vast majority of it is taken away uh, twice a year. So, uh, we set up a special area that, uh, that we store all that manure in. Uh, it's easy for the uh, bobcat to get in and out and load up his truck. Um, and it, for us, it was just an effective way uh, to, to manage it without much labor on our part. For me, the benefit is um, part of it is aesthetic. Um, I like my pastures to look nice. Uh, I like, we, we work hard on this property. We've invested a lot of money in this property with buildings and fencing. And uh, uh, to be able to have the, the manure taken away uh, rather than spreading it um, helps make the property look good. And it's also kinder to my neighbors in terms of smell. It's, there's an expense, but to be honest with you, the expense is minimal. It's like, you know, it's like any other hobby that you have. There's going to be some expense to it, but the, the lesser of the expenses that you have with horses is removal of manure. It's, it's pretty cost effective to do it. It maybe costs me a thousand dollars a year. That's it. Well, build a, man, uh, a manure area that has some uh, solid walls to it because the bobcat's got to get in there and pick up manure and needs something to push against. So we've done that over time. We started out with, with no barriers and then finally we put in some railroad ties and hammered them together. And that's really helped uh, the, the loader get in there and get it all out, get it cleaned out. We manage our manure here by using a dumpster. So we clean the stalls and the paddocks in wheelbarrows and then we put it into a dumpster um, with a manure conveyor, which has been created by one of our volunteers. So um, because we're in a park, we have park land here, it's very specific where you can dispose of manure. So for us, um, coming from another place, we were at a home school where we had the same situation we had to um, really get our manure off the property as efficiently as possible. So this system really works nicely for us. Keeping the manure dumpster here is a benefit for us because we, um, we don't have to store it, we don't have to spread it, and we don't have to um, have it hauled off in a way where they'd need a bobcat or something like that. They simply bring the truck take the dumpster and um, probably come about every three weeks. So um, before we had our manure um, elevator conveyor, we um, had to put up small boards to get to the top of the manure pile. And that was really dangerous for our employees or our volunteers rather. And they would literally fall over with the manure wheelbarrow. So this way um, we just take it to the bottom of the 
dumpster and we're able to not have any injuries. It's a lot safer and more efficient. And we can fill it to a further capacity this way as well. We pay a little over $200 each time the dumpster is picked up. And for 18 horses, um, you know, it, it, it works out okay. It is a little cost um, spendy, I guess I would say, but um, being in the park and needing that manure off the property, it's pretty, pretty efficient and works for us really well. Um, I would really recommend the dumpster system if they don't want to spread on their property the manure or to um, stockpile it in a bunker. This is a really nice way to, um, to get the manure off the property. It can be recycled um, and used as fertilizer down the road. Um, I also think um, it's a lot easier on your back to use the um, manure elevator that we've designed. And I would highly recommend that if you um, want to be quick and efficient cleaning your stalls, it's a very simple, simple design to get your manure in the dumpster and fill it to capacity so you get your money's worth. So in conclusion, there are a few different options for effectively managing manure on your small farm. If you have cropland or pasture to spread manure on, composting or stockpiling and then spreading the manure might be the best option for you. Composting and spreading manure has the benefit of having reduced volume compared to raw manure, and it can be rather inexpensive if you do the labor yourself. However, it is somewhat labor intensive to pile and turn the manure while making sure to maintain the correct composting temperatures and oxygen levels. Stockpiling and spreading manure can be cost and resource effective as a livestock or horse owner since you can properly dispose of the manure while using it as a nutrient source for your crops or pasture. Though it can be time intensive since you need to apply within certain windows such as in the fall after harvest but before ground freeze or in the spring between ground thaw and planting. If you don't have land to spread manure on or you don't have enough land, having your manure hauled away or using a dumpster service might be good options. Having your manure hauled away by a neighbor, commercial applicator, or other contracted person is a non-labor intensive way to dispose of your manure. It also helps keep your pastures looking clean, which can be especially valuable if your pastures are on the same lot as your home. The main drawback with this approach is that you need to find someone willing to haul away your manure and you'll need to agree on terms and payment. Using a dumpster service is a good idea if you are in an area that does not allow manure stockpiles or applications, such as a park or school. It is non-labor intensive for the operator and doesn't require space for a stockpile site or application equipment. However, it can be quite costly for very small operations. Overall, it is important for you to have a plan for your manure, and you need to think about what system works best for you. You also need to think about what you have for equipment and what you might need. Your operation size will determine this as you don't need very large, expensive equipment for a very small operation. And remember, not every management style will fit every operation. What works for your neighbor might not work for you, so it's important to remain practical when picking a management strategy. Using the tips and examples outlined in this video, you'll be set up to properly manage your manure in a way that disposes of the manure while making the most use of its valuable nutrients. Mm -hmm.